Three, two, one, go. Anxiously awaited this autonomous. All right, they were ready. They got going. They had a little difficult. Look at that. Top part of How was your time here at robotics? Enjoyed every minute of it. I met some really great people and I had experiences that I would never have gotten if I hadn't gotten into robotics. Um, it's been pretty, pretty good. Uh, made some awesome new friends, uh, met a really smart person and had a great time. How was it with your first year of robotics? Um, at first it was really intimidating because it's quite a big task to be doing something so advanced and then also um, having Students travel with you uh, to various locations, um, but I couldn't have asked for a better team, and it really did exceed my expectations as far as what we did this year. Are you sad to be leaving here? Actually, I am not looking forward to leaving the school in general, but especially the robotics because it gave me something to do on Saturdays. I met some really great people, and I had something to look forward to everywhere I went, and everything that I did was robotics. I lived and breathed it. Um, it's pretty difficult, uh, leaving all my friends behind and going out to a different state, so it's kind of a difficult task, but I'm looking forward to it because hopefully I'll meet new people and keep contact with people that I have now. It's kind of difficult because I made a lot of friends and it's really hard to leave friends behind and stuff like that. Challenges along the way? Uh, suffering from social anxiety has definitely made it very difficult to make friends and talk to people, but seeing as my job was communications, I was kind of forced to talk to people and socialize. Um, trying to help the leader, Ken, of the group manage things because he likes to do everything on his own, and then trying to help kind of like impedes his progress, and then we get set back like two or three days. Feeling with Ken. How was it like um, doing this and also with teaching? Uh, it was definitely a lot of time. Um, we, I think we figured out that we spent about 200 hours last season trying to develop these robots and uh, between that and actually the competitions. So um, what did, when you decided to do VEX, uh, was it something you, you were asked to do or was it something you wanted to do? Uh, a little bit of both. I was sort of pestered to do VEX when I first got here and I turned it down and then um, I saw the su success my father had at Polytech and decided that it's probably something I should do. How far did your team make it? We made it to the quarterfinals at the Maryland State. Um, Maryland State. Uh, who'd you lose to? I don't know the team. How did you get involved? Well, during my freshman year, I would sit in Mr. Hoke's G10 class and work on their projects with them. So their one project was robotics. And me and this girl, Liz, we were talking. We were like, this would be so cool if there was a club for it. We talked to Mr. Hoke, and he agreed with us, and he recruited everybody for the team. How does the VEX team benefit the school? Um, it gets the school's name out there. We are able to benefit the students more so than just the school. It gets students' names out there. They're able to get their names out there, work and gain leadership qualities along with scholarships for colleges. What do you like about being part of the robotics team? I love having people to go to building relationships and learning from what they have to offer. How much, needed, how much money is needed to fund your activity? Well, like Mr. Hoke said, a lot. The bare minimum for a basic robot is you know, less than $5,000. So our robot, or our final finished robot, was probably over 7000 Any challenges along the way? There's always challenges with engineering. Once we would build one part of the robot and figure it out, there was less. There was another problem to overcome. But when we sat down and thought about it as a team, we would figure it out, and we were able to get as far as we did. How's it feel to be joining robotics? Uh, I feel like it'll be a great experience and learn a lot of new stuff, and hopefully go to a college about engineering. Why'd you sign up? So I could uh, learn how to create new things, new technology, change the world. Uh, I've learned how to program, build the robots, and we're going to, me and my new team is going to start 
to work on better robots. All right. Um, so do you look forward to next year? Absolutely. Um, we just missed making it to the World Championship, and I know that the, the previous two members want to get there, and I'm sure the new members want to get there as well. I used to roll the dice.